Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can perform a Kruskal Wallace test using SPSS. Now, the Kruskal Wallace test can be considered as a possible alternative to the standard parametric one way ANOVA, where in that case, the independent variable is a categorical variable and the dependent variable is generally regarded as continuous. And with the one way ANOVA, what we are essentially doing is we are computing. Uh, group means on the dependent variable and then comparing them using the one-way ANOVA. With the Kruskal Wallace test, our group comparison involves a ranked dependent variable. So for instance, let's say that I have a dependent variable that's continuous and I uh, rank order the values on that dependent variable from low to high, ignoring group membership, and then I compute the mean of the ranks associated with those groups then the Kruskal Wallace test is essentially a test of the differences in the mean ranks across the groups. If the Kruskal Wallace test is not statistically significant, then we would judge that no group is exhibiting stochastic dominance on the dependent variable. Whereas if there are differences um, and we find that there's statistical significance for the Kruskal Wallace test, then we would infer that at least one of the groups is exhibiting stochastic dominance. So you can see on your screen we have a data set that's opened up and uh, what I'm going to do is include a link to this data set underneath the video description if you want uh, to download the data and follow along. Additionally, I am going to include a link to a, a short PowerPoint under the video description in case you want to read more on the topic. So in this data set right here we have state level data. So each row represents a, a, a different state in the U.S. And you'll notice that uh, each state we have uh, basically a variable that represents a region or the region within which the state can be found. So you can see we have Alabama found in the south, Alaska in the west, we have uh, Connecticut in the northeast, and then I Illinois in uh, the north central U.S. So what we're going to be doing is comparing the regions uh, in the U.S. on a variable which is uh, called uh, median age. So we're essentially uh, look, going to be looking to see if there are differences in the median ages, uh, population age for the um, different regions in the U.S. So our independent variable is going to be this region variable and our dependent variable is going to be this median age variable right here. So let's go ahead and begin our analysis by going to analyze go down to non-parametric tests and then click on independent samples. Under the objective tab we're going to click on customize analysis and then under the fields tab we're going to move our region variable down to the groups box. Now you'll notice that with the groups uh, variable right here, our, our, our region variable, it's a string variable but it will suffice as a factor variable. If our variable, um, if we had used a nominal variable instead and we had assigned numeric values for, uh, you know, southwest, northeast, north central, uh, that would also suffice as well. So, uh, again, our groups uh, box is going to, um, what we're going to do is put a um, factor variable into that box. That's our independent variable. And we're going to move our median age variable to the test fields box. And then we're going to click on the settings tab and then click on customize tests and then Kruskal Wallace one way ANOVA uh, K samples. So the box uh, for multiple comparisons highlights and you'll see it says all pairwise. And so what this is going to do is give us um, post hoc comparisons. Uh, using Dunn's procedure. There is another option in here, but we're just going to be sticking with uh, this basic option right here. So next we'll click on run and we get this hypothesis uh, test summary table. You'll see that we have a p-value that's given which is 0 .001 which is comparing our groups on our mean ranks. And then it's also giving us a decision, which is reject the null hypothesis. And the reason why is because our p-value that's given is less than uh, a conventional uh, uh, alpha level of 0 0.05. So what this is basically telling us is that we have evidence that at least one of our groups is exhibiting stochastic dominance with respect to our dependent variable. 
So now what we'll do is we're going to uh, double click on uh, this box right here and so you can see that a model viewer opens up and I'm going to move this around just a little bit and we'll scroll down uh, over here a bit and you can already kind of get a sense of, of you know how the groups are performing uh, but we'll we'll mainly look right here at the test statistic this is a chi-square value and there's our degrees of freedom and then the p-value the p-value that was given uh, over here you'll also notice that the test statistic that's given right here is adjusted for uh, tied ranks on the dependent variable now if we want to um, look at pairwise differences we can click this button right here and then go down to pairwise comparisons so we'll click on that and at the top I kind of scroll up a little bit you'll you'll notice that we have each of our regions that are given there's north central west south and northeast and the numbers that are given are the mean ranks or the average ranks associated with each of the regions and the comparisons that are being made um, in terms of testing for uh, differences in those uh, mean ranks uh, involved is can be found in this uh, this box or table below so you'll notice that we have uh, west no, uh, west versus north central well in this particular case we're basically comparing our west uh, versus north central right here and you'll notice that we have a column that says SIG and there's our p-value that's given. So you can see that there's no difference or no significant difference in the mean ranks between those two regions. And now I do want to also point out that we have this other column here it says uh, adjusted significance. Uh, if you want uh, significance values that are adjusted for um, the number of tests being carried out, basically a Bonferroni adjustment, then you can use uh, this column right here instead of uh, the one that we're using currently. So next we'll compare uh, west versus south. So in this particular case, west versus south, you'll notice that um, there's no significant difference in the mean ranks between those two regions. When we compare west versus northeast, uh, so there's our west versus northeast, now in this case we see that there is a significant difference in the mean ranks. And so basically we have evidence that of a stochastic dominance of the northeast region uh, over the west uh, region with respect to our dependent variable. When we compare our north central versus south regions in this particular case you'll see that we have no significant difference between those two regions. When we compare our north central uh, versus northeast regions we again we have statistically significant difference uh, in the mean ranks between those regions and then finally a comparison between south versus northeast we see once again we have evidence of statistical significance so we can uh, pretty much assume that individuals in the northeast have uh, higher median ages than uh, individuals who are in the south now, if it's the case that you're not a big fan of the model, model viewer approach uh, to looking at your output, what you can do is go to uh, Edit and then go down to Options right here. And if you go under the Output tab, uh, the default is Model Viewer right here. But if you want to click on Pivot Tables and Charts, you can click that and then on OK. And so when you run your analysis, in this particular case we'll just kind of rerun what we had before and so it looks a little bit more like the conventional output that you might be used to when you're using SPSS so you can see again there's our um, our uh, p-value that's given as well as the, the uh, uh, decision regarding rejection of the null hypothesis here uh, again there's our test statistic our degrees of freedom and p-value from the Kruskal Wallace test when we scroll down, uh, you can see also that we have this table of the pairwise comparisons uh, related to our region variable. Okay, so that uh, pretty well concludes this uh, video demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.